how to add new jira issues to nifty as task so jira software and nifty both are very amazing project management software and jira software is mostly used by the developers and in this video i am going to integrate or connect jira software and nifty in such a way that every time a new issue is created in this software the same issue will be created as a task automatically into the nifty software yes it is possible we can sync these two software with the help of an automation software want to learn how you can create this automation for yourself come with me and i will show you the whole process step by step so this is the dashboard of jira software and here as soon as i am going to create a new issue the same issue will be created as a task into the nifty project management software and i am going to do that with the help of pably connect which is an amazing integration and automation software via which you can easily connect to multiple applications and automate your tasks and you can also reach here by typing pably.com slash connect i will also attach this link into my description box for your reference now if you are a new user of pably connect you will have to sign up for free where you will also get free tasks that to every month in your account in order to test these kinds of amazing automation well i'm already an existing user of pably connect so that is why i have firstly clicked on sign in okay and then clicked on pably connect access now and this is how you can reach to the dashboard of pably connect okay and after reaching to the dashboard you will have to click on this blue button that is create workflow and just provide any random name to your workflow to your automation so i am providing the name as sync jira software and nifty and create task in nifty when issue is created in jira okay I have provided a random name and after that you will find two boxes in front of you. So these are actually trigger and action. So trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So whenever this happens, do this. Understand with an example also, whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application, let's say send an email to your customers automatically via Gmail application. Okay. And according to our use case, whenever the issue is created in Jira software application, automatically create a task in nifty application. Okay. So this this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation and in this case i am building an automation in between jira and in between nifty so i am going to select these two application and i will do the setup of nifty later firstly let us set up this jira software okay so the idea here is as soon as a new issue is created we are going to capture the details into pably connect okay for which i will have to connect jira software with the pably connect and how can I do that? So basically, all the instructions are given here. You will have to follow these instructions one by one. Okay. So firstly, copy this webhook URL, then go back to your software and here click on the settings. And in this settings, you will find an option of systems. After reaching out to the system section, you will have to search for the integration. All right. Where is the integration? I will have to search for that. All right, not for the integration, you will have to search for the webhooks. Actually, I forgot. Okay, here you can see from the left hand sidebar, you can find the webhooks option. Okay, so here exactly we need to create a new webhook from this particular top right button. Okay, simply click on this button. Come, coming back to Pably Connect, simply copy this webhook URL and then you will have to paste the very same URL here exactly. And you will also have to provide a random name. Okay, so I am going to provide the name as webhooks for connection in Jira and Nifty. I'm providing this particular name. Okay. And the status will be make sure enable. It should be enabled. You can also provide any description, but currently I'm leaving this field blank because this particular field is not mandatory for now. Okay. Now you will have to select the event type basically on happening of which particular event it should actually send the data to public connect. Okay. So I want that whenever any issue is created, this automation should send the data data to Pably connect so that is why i have selected this particular option basically created under the issue okay now directly click on this create option and this is how the webhooks the same webhook url will be saved here inside our jira software and now onwards every time the new issue will be created it is going to send the data to Pably connect and here you can see it is still waiting for the response okay so log into the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test submission or record so that the data can be 
recorded here in the web address also okay so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record and in our case the test submission means creation of a new issue inside jira software okay so i am going to create a new issue right in front of you okay clicking on this plus icon and the very first option it is asking for the project so i am going to create the task in this project pabli connect project basically i'm going to create a issue okay it is asking that what is the issue type so i will keep it as task only the status will be to do and here exactly you'll have to provide the description so i am going to provide the description for the developers that kindly create an issue okay create an issue uh, not issue i'm sorry for that create an integration on google sheets okay and in the description i'm going to provide lot of people are asking for this integration in total we have received 56 request for this integration okay so i have provided the summary the description i have i i will have to select the reporter as well well it is going to be the same here i'm going to specify the due dates so i will provide the due date as the 22nd of february assignee will be automatic or you can also choose the assignee from this drop down okay let me show you if i'll click here you can see here lot of assignees are available i'll show you that Yeah you can see so if you want to assign any assignee from here so i'm going to create the same neeraj pabli click on create and you will see as soon as i will create any issue inside jira now onward the same details will be captured via pabli connect and here you can see the response is received already okay let me show you the details one by one so currently i have this uh, type as issue is created here i have the time zone here i have the display name as the pabli self uh, i'm sorry it is pabli apps and let me show you other details other important details basically the name of the uh, task okay so i have the issue name as create an integration on google sheets where is the description which i have provided uh, it must be here only okay let me show you and here you can see we have the task type issue type as task and the description is here that lot of people are asking for this integration in total we have received 50 56 request for this integration okay uh, scroll down and let us check the due date okay so hi, i have the due date as 22nd of february okay and so this is how i have received all the details in this particular response okay we even have the assignee display name okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the first step of our automation is working absolutely fine which was connecting jira and pabli connect and capturing the issues here inside pabli connect now i am going to send this data to nifty so that i can create the very same task into nifty project management software and in the action even i will select this create a task and just like i have connected jira and pabli connect now i am going to connect nifty and pabli connect okay so i am going to provide the permission here because i am already logged in into the nifty application in some different app so it is asking me for the permission only directly all right so here i am going to click on allow and you will see how the nifty will be connected with pabli connect the authorization is also successfully and here you can see it is connected now it is asking me to provide a task name the description the project id and other following details okay so from where i am going to provide this detail well i have received the data just now and i am going to map this data i don't even need to copy this data manually and paste it here we are going to map it and mapping is very simple inside pabli connect simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down search for that particular thing okay so i'm going to search for the task name firstly so i remember i have provided the task name as the create an integration on google sheet so issue fields is summary so i have provided the task name basically i have mapped the task name asking for the description so let me search for the description and i think i have provided 
submitted the description with a lot of people okay so here we have the field description now it is asking for the project id okay so currently i just have a single project only inside my jira software so that is why not in the jira software basically into the nifty software so that is why it is showing the single one only the single project only so how about we create a new project and here i'm going to provide the name to my product project okay so let's say for now i am providing this integration as a project project name okay coming back here and click on this refresh to fetch new items button and here you will see the new project name will be visible here it will starting it will start visible here and here you can see we have this integration okay so i have provided the project id also now it is asking for the task group id well i want to keep the id as the to do only always so i will keep it the same okay asking for the milestone id since it is not mandatory so i'm going to leave this particular field back asking for the start date and the due date this is the most interesting part of this automation okay so from where i will get this start date and due date basically from the above data from the above response which i can map from the drop down only and let me search for the date okay so currently i have this one two three i have three dates in total okay so firstly i am going to provide the start date as the fields updated date okay and here you can notice the format it is asking the format in this particular format okay so in the start date i i have received the same format so that is why i have mapped this exactly asking for the due date so let us search for the due date and i have just shown you that i have this due date into this yyyy mmdd format but it was asking me uh, the date to be formatted into the date to be provided into this particular format so firstly what i will have to do is i'll have to change this due date into this particular format only okay so how you can do that simply add one more step before this nifty pm and here i am going to provide i'm going to search for the date and time formatter feature which is an amazing feature of pably connect via which you can perform various kind of amazing operations within the date okay currently i just want to format a date along with the time zone so that is why i have selected the same simply click on connect and it will be connected immediately and here also i am going to map the date okay so let me search for the due date which i would like to map basically whose timing whose date time format i'll have to change so i have provided the same asking from the for the from format so i have this format as the yyyy mmdd okay so i have provided the yy mmdd okay asking for the two format so i have just to show you that it is asking the format into this particular format and it is a it is all about yyyy mmdd t and z format okay so coming back here scrolling up and here i'm going to search for the very same format well the same format has been selected automatically so i'll go with the same asking from the from and two time zone okay so firstly let's let's select the asia kolkata timing from the from time zone basically in the from time zone and in the two time zone instead of selecting this asia and kolkata i will select the etc and ut C format now why do, why i'm going to do that i'll show you later i'll explain you later but you will have to search for the etc slash utc only okay so i have selected the same clicking on save and send test request and remember i have provided the due date as the 22nd okay let me show you here is the view issue button and here you can see the due date is actually of the february 2nd okay the due date should be completed by february 22nd okay coming back here and i have currently the date as the 21st 8 830 okay 1830 i'm sorry for that okay so because this date is different because we have captured this particular date into the utc format but if you will add plus 530 into this particular timing you will actually get the date of 22nd only and the timing will be of 00000 okay so uh, since this particular date i have captured is in the utc format so that is why it is showing the timing as the 1830 only but do not worry when i am going to map this etc format this utc format into the nifty the task will be created at the, at the exact date and time 
time which I have selected into the Jira. Okay, here you can see I have provided the due date as Feb 22nd only. Okay, so coming back here and let us map the very same date and time which we have just received via Pabli Connect date and time format of feature. Well, currently I am not able to access that particular data. So I am going to click on this connected button once again and click, click on the select existing section once again and this is how this nifty pm will be reconnected with pabli connect and it is somehow now refreshed and now when i will click on this particular field i'll be able to access the earlier step basically the step which i have just provided as a date and time format okay so i have also mapped the date and time format asking for the banner i will leave it as blank asking for the assignees and the assignees should be mapped should be provided into this particular format basically i will have to add the assignee's id so from where i can get the id of the assignee so here as per the instruction i am going to add one more action step that is get invitee from which i can actually receive the ids of the assignee okay so i will have to introduce one more step before this nifty pm so that i can fetch the ids of the assignee okay so simply click on this plus icon search for the nifty once again and in the action events, since I want to get an NYT, so I'll go with the same. Simply click on connect and this time I'll go with the existing connections only instead of selecting the new connections. And finally, I'll click on this button and you will see it will give me all the assignee details. Okay, so here you can see I have the username as that user as a dummy dummy demo and we have the ID of this particular person as this. Okay, let me show you the other person name and the id of that person okay so we have the dummy demo as the second person and here we have the user id basically the id of that specific member let me show you the id of other person so here we have the user second user demo sunny and here again we have the id okay so this is how you can find the id of all the user okay and what i can do is to whom i would like to assign this particular task i can copy the id from here okay so here you can see I have um, copied the member ID of this Ashmita Mandal okay and I am going to add this particular ID here just in case if you want to assign the very same task to multiple people simply add a comma and paste the ID of that second person but currently I am going to assign this uh, task to this particular person only okay basically I want whenever a new issue is created in Jira the same issue details will be captured via Pabli connect and it should be automatically assigned to this particular specific assignee okay so you must be thinking that how it is going to happen so basically whatever the details you are going to provide manually the details will remain same or always okay but whatever the details you have mapped here these details will be changed automatically it will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time or in the next time okay so this is the difference in providing the values manually and in providing the values by I am mapping okay and uh, now I'll be clicking on this button save and send test request finally and let me show you this integration project and let us check the task and I'll have to wait for that task to be created okay let me first refresh it And here you can see the same task has been created create an integration on google sheets if i'll open this task in front of you you can see it is the same description a lot of people are asking for this integration in total we have received 56 requests for this integration and we even have the assignee the first assignee we have is the ashmita mandal basically we have the single assignee only which i have provided and it is the same due date that is february 22nd 2023 and 12 a.m okay so let me show you what was the timing which we have provided which which we have mapped okay so here you can see we have provided the timing as 21st 1830 but the task has been created on the exact date which we have provided into the jira software okay so that is why i was telling you that you will have to take the date into the utc format and you will have to map the date into the utc format only then only the task will be created at the specific date okay now this is how you can sync your jira software task with the nifty project management software and what will happen as soon as you're going to create any task into the jira software it will instantly 
capture the details inside Pabli Connect since this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the task will be created automatically and here let me tell you one more important thing that is once you will get the ID of the members you can also remove this particular step that is get NYT okay because when this automation will execute we don't want this this particular step to be executed every time we already have the ID of the people ID of the members which we have mapped here successfully so it is completely up to you whether you would like to create the automation along with this particular get NYT step uh, you can either remove it or you can either keep it okay so this is how you can create this automation inside Pabli connect and sync Jira software issues with the nifty project management software and you just need to create this automation inside Pabli connect once and after that sit back and relax and simply close Pabli connect because Pabli connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually just in case if you want to access this workflow which I have created in front of you I will also attach the shareable link of this workflow into my description box simply click on this link sign up in the Pabli connect and the same workflow will be closed into your Pabli connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of Pabli connect and for the latest updates of Pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video